Hey y'all, it's your friend Dee and I'm back with a small Dollar Tree haul and I'm back in my craft room. Yay! Um, I was filming in our kitchen between November and January 13th um, because this table was being used to display our Christmas village and now that I'm back in my craft room, I like it, but I forgot how much noise from the street this side of the house picks up. So I got to work on that. So if you have any suggestions, I'm going to look into some software, but should I put up thicker drapes or is there something else I can do? Just leave me a comment. So let's get into this haul. So the first thing we have is this dollhouse activity kit. It's basically a background. Um, they've had these for a while. And so the, here's the front and it says it's for 11 and a half inch dolls. And you get all these pieces. And on the back, it shows you all the other things that they have. So I know that the one that I have right now is the living room and like front door scene. So I'm not sure if these come to like that. Like maybe you'll get the bedroom with the living room and the office with the kitchen on the back side. So I'm not sure how the other ones are. This was the only one that my store had. So let's open it up. So here's what the front door side looks like. I am actually surprised. It looks a lot nicer than I thought it would. Um, I really like the door. And you have two lights, two porch lights up there. You have a window and you can actually see the on the back side where it's the living room, there's a computer. You can actually see a little bit of the computer right there. And the curtains. And you have this little fence with some shrubs. And let's see here, some columns. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. I'm, I'm just surprised. So here's the other side. You have the door, has a frame around it. You can see a little bit of a rug down there. And then you have the window over here with a little, I guess a little office space. You have a computer monitor, a desk, and then over here you have a bookcase. So with this kit comes a bunch of stickers and little cutouts. So the first sheet of stickers, you get extra books for the bookcase and you get a waste basket. Looks like there's actual balled up pieces of paper or tissue in it. You get a plant. The second sheet of stickers, you get more books. These are single. The other ones were more like um, clusters of books. And then you get a picture. Let me turn it this way, guys. Then you get a picture, a clock, little bonsai tree. And a cat. On this sheet of stickers, you get butterflies, birds, and a looks like a poodle. And this one, you get little cutouts. You get a poodle, a, a black poodle this time. The other one was white. A gray cat, and looks like a little rose bush. So for these little cutouts, there's two pieces, and they connect like that. And then you can just sit it down and have a little rose bush. Of course, we won't have it inside the house, but there's your rose bush. So, guys, here it is with the Barbie. So, you can see the size comparison. And she has about maybe a half an inch space um, from the top of this display. So, there is some room there, but not much. Um, from the right angle, I think it would look okay, but obviously from the angle that I'm filming right now, um, you know, you would see that she is almost as tall as the background. And here it is with a Ken doll, and his hair is almost to the top. So again, at the right angle, it could work, but straight on like this is very noticeable. Um, but yeah, still a nice background. Next, we have this three-pack of mini flower pots, and it's natural wood, and the brand or the name of it is Indoor by Garden Collection. I found this over with the um, fairy garden items, and here's what they look like out of the packaging. You get one of the larger ones, and it is uh, one and a half inches tall, and you get two of the smaller ones, and they are one and a quarter inch tall. So here's what they look like inside. And they stop about the bottom. If you put something inside of it, 
the bottom of it is about right there. So here's the larger one, and I have this plant. And it, I think that's cute. You can definitely paint these. So guys, I found real littles at the Dollar Tree. First time for me. I've never seen them in there before. And this is the Micro Mart. And you get two real littles and two mini packs. So my first pack had the salt and vinegar Pringles and the Briars vanilla chocolate strawberry ice cream. Let's see what's in the Pringles. So you get a little stack of Pringles with a little face and hands. That's pretty neat. And the Pringles can actually has writing all around it. So next with the Briars ice cream, you can see it's finished all the way around. And you get two scoops, a big scoop and a little scoop with a cherry. And I guess that is a vanilla flower. And you also have a spoon or a scooper, I guess. So in our second box, we got two puddings. We got the chocolate vanilla on the top, and then we just got chocolate. And these little packs of pudding are finished all the way around. So inside the chocolate vanilla pack, you get these two guys, little cups of pudding. One has the eyes open, the other one is, I guess it's, just a big smile and his eyes are kind of closed. In the chocolate pudding, you get these two guys. And one looks like he's had a bite taken out of the top of him. And they're looking at each other, kind of. So that's kind of cute. In our third pack, we got the Klondike Crunch Bars and the Mother Circus Animal Crackers. Let's open the Klondike. So here's the Klondike Bars. So you get one crunch bar and has a bite taken out of him. Here's the back. So here's the mother circus crackers. And this does have a resellable right here. It snaps. So you don't have to cut across the top to get the your um, real little out of it. And this one is, looks like a bunch of animal crackers stacked together. That's really cute. That's the camel cracker. It's got a little face. And here's the back side. All the little sprinkles. That's really cute, guys. So Dollar Tree has these new Friends Forever Club dolls. I've been seeing them get the play sets in. Uh, this is the first time I've seen the dolls, and this is, I believe her name is Karina, and here it says, Karina has a passion for space. She loves stargazing and studying astrology. When she grows up, she dreams of becoming an astronaut and exploring the galaxy. It says for three and up. So on the back, it shows all the other characters, has some more information about the club, and some more information about Karina. And you can actually cut this out if you want to keep it with the doll. Um, I'll insert a picture of the other dolls that I took in the store here. Here she is out of the packaging. And I absolutely loved her glasses and her hoodie and shorts. I thought she was just really, really cute. And let me see. Oh, that's a Oh, okay. Her glasses come off and her hair comes off. I guess you can swap them out. That's pretty neat. Now, but girl, you on camera, let's put it back on. Okay. So here are her little glasses. I wonder if those would fit a Barbie. We'll see in a second. So here's the back of her clothes. And as you can see, they snap on and off, it looks like. Okay, yeah. 
they come off. But her, okay, her arms are painted, but this part looks like it's changeable. And I'm not going to expose her on camera. <laughs> but I did see some clothes like this. I thought they went to another doll. So I have to go back and check the Dollar Tree. Maybe these dolls have fashion packs, guys. As far as articulation, she cannot look up and down. Her hair can look up and down. But <laughs> her head can turn. Yeah. I think it can turn all the way around. So she's got movement there. And then at the shoulder... Nothing at the waist. Wait, she, okay, she can go. But I think that's just because of her hips. Yeah. And I think her clothes also, the way the shorts are made, kind of hinders her mobility also. And nothing at the ankle. And her shoes do come off also. You can see her little feet. And guys, the glasses do fit a Barbie. Dollar Tree got new Barbie fashion packs in. I think there's three different ones. I only found two. This one I actually showed in a Walmart haul a few weeks ago. And I liked it. So I just went ahead and bought another one. I mean, it's $1.25. This one I liked. And I got two of those just in case some dolls want to be twinsies. So let's review this one. So here's the dress, and it has these little puff sleeves with a cutout at the shoulder, kind of a tropical theme, pink, green, and orange, and it Velcros in the back. Yeah, I like this. It's really cute. Um, the second dress that I bought, I think I might take the sleeves off just to have a different look. But I won't commit to that just yet. Because um, I think my Dollar Tree still has several. So I may go get another one just in case. And here's the headband that it comes with. I think it looks really cute on, on Tanja. I like the headband. Don't necessarily like it with this dress. I think they should have gave her at least one of the colors that was in the dress. And you also get this little beach bag. I have this bag in blue also, and I just think that they're really nice, especially for if you're going to do a beach scene with the dolls. Just a little nice accessory. So my last item is actually not from the Dollar Tree. It's from Walmart. Another mini fashion. This is Series 1. My Walmart has these for $5. They still have a bunch of them. Uh, series 2 hasn't come in yet, but I think I'm going to try Target this weekend. But for now, let's open this and see which purse we got. Here we go. And here's the purse. What did we get? What did we get? We got another pink one. That's okay. I have, I think this is my fourth or fifth one of this. But I still really like it. I like the keychains on it. So, I'll probably take these off since I have so many of these. Probably take the uh, keys off of this one. So, yeah. So, this purse, there's the inside of it. For the accessories. We got this sticker. We got the makeup compact with the mirror. We got another perfume bottle and a wallet. This is a new item for me, so I'm happy about that. Um, I have the blue wallet and now I have the pink one. So guys, that's everything I got at the Dollar Tree and one Walmart item. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>